Yum, yum. Uh, hello, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Pixel Fondue. My name's Chris. Uh, this video is just about five and a half minutes of me just playing with the model that I think is uh, getting ready to go to ZBrush. I think we've I've pretty much exhausted the uh, options I have right now, and I think it's time to go. Right now, you're just seeing all of the little controls I have for playing with some of the features of the model. All right, there's only so much you can do with stretching polys around and things like that, so if you're, you end up being a little bit limited, but just a little bit of work up front can give you a lot of little options in your visualizations for a model. All right. Uh, right now, I'm just playing around with this, kind of looking at that. I'm taking those, hiding those. I don't need to see those in the viewport anymore, so I just hid those. All these little control regions that highlight in the green just trigger my transform effectors that I've hooked up to the model, right? The vertex maps and things like that. Uh, right now, I've just got this thing stopped there. I'm just taking a look and seeing how things look. That's about all. all. Right? And I think from beginning to end, if I started from a blank screen to this point right now, I think I could have done this in about maybe one day. I think one day would have been okay. Right? Had a general idea of what the model was supposed to look like and then started building into it. I think about one full day of, uh, you know, grindstone work, I think I could have had all this done. Weight maps, the modeling, all that. Maybe two if I had to do a lot of other things during the work day. But I think all of this that you're seeing right now was one day's worth of work. It'd be a full day, but it's one day. Now we're kind of getting into the model now that I think I'm going to be using. All right. Uh, thing to note, when you're doing this with ZBrush, all of these right now, if I sent this to ZBrush right now, ZBrush would pick up a non-deformed model. Right? It would be as if the deformers aren't there, which means the eyeballs would shrink down, everything would shrink down out of, back to its zero point, right? Back to its setup position. And uh, what I'll have to end up doing is, once I've got this model pretty much set up the way I want to uh, texture it and sculpt on it, I will have to freeze this geometry, and then that's the frozen geometry that I'll send into the ZBrush. All right, then I can work out maps that I want, then I'll get those maps back into uh, Moto when I need them. Then apply them to this model, then stretch it all out again. I'll see how that goes. I think it'll go okay. But aside from the mouth distortions and expressions there that right what you're looking at right there is probably the model that I'll be sending into ZBrush I think there's enough there for uh, ZBrush to get the job done now I'm just playing with look I'm just trying to see how the shapes kinda move into each other how the lights kinda falling on this model and it seems okay Uh, I guess I'm in the advanced viewport right now, and it works pretty well. well not the advanced viewport, but uh, it works pretty well, and it looks pretty nice, right? Again, controls put in the right spot with a little bit of thought about where you want things to go can really help you uh, change up your model before you get really locked into position with it. Okay, right now I'm just kind of playing with what I think is going to happen with these eyeballs later on. I'm just checking out some of those loops. I don't like that loop around the base of the antenna. And right now I'm just changing these things around to sort of get the right spot. Okay, I've got that weight map set up right. It doesn't distort too much, and it will be probably be okay for what I'm going to use this for.
Again, just moving through a quick little idea about how to uh, get some looks developed so I kind of know where to go, where I might be coming from, dropping some lights in, checking how they look against the uh, form of the model. This is kind of basic stuff anybody would do when you're starting to play with your models. Once they kind of, once the actual modeling part is coming to an end. Yum, yum!